hi everyone uh, in this video the ne- uh, in this video we'll discuss the next topic uh, that is the gorilla testing so uh, the general term gorilla testing here the general term gorilla testing uh, we are giving uh, f- yeah uh, this is also called as a monkey testing uh, gorilla testing is also called as a monkey testing uh, see the general idea behind the gorilla testing the name gorilla testing is we are giving uh, we are giving our ready application or uh, uh, completed application to gorilla for testing uh, see uh, the general term gorilla for a testing means uh, see uh, to make the gorilla to test our uh, application to make the gorilla to test our application means Uh, we are uh, just in generally the gorilla is going to test our application so gorilla is going to test our application means it is randomly going to press some keys and uh, it may sometimes uh, it may press some acceptable uh, keys like uh, for the application there is like uh, some random giving some random input to the application and testing that application so this is a general uh, idea behind the gorilla testing so this gen, uh, general gorilla uh, testing is applied with the uh, software testing so what actually happens here the uh, this gorilla testing also called as a monkey testing or a chimpanzee testing so uh, obviously the more commonly uh, this is a random testing why is this name random testing so that random testing means uh, randomly we are giving some input to the application we are uh, giving some uh, random input random input to application uh, so the ready made application or uh, complete application so that uh, randomly giving means uh, sometime it may be uh, unacceptable uh, inputs or uh, relevant inputs also given it may sometime by mistake uh, uh, randomly we may uh, give the some uh, accepted inputs also so now here uh, giving the some random inputs we are giving some random inputs that is why this uh, this term gorilla testing is also uh, known as a random testing the most commonly the gorilla testing also called as a monkey testing or chimpanzee testing and commonly uh, technically uh, this is also known as a random testing now here uh, what happens the software developed by the team is given to gorilla for testing as i said the software uh, developed by the team is given to gorilla for testing see uh, what happens the gorilla randomly press some keys and statistically uh, statistically it may sometimes press uh, uh, the keys that are acceptable see uh, the gorilla the gorilla is going to press some keys means random keys uh, we are not specifically uh, uh, gorilla does know what should uh, what input should be given and what uh, see uh, whether it is acceptable or not acceptable so it is going to press uh, the random some random keys okay uh, here uh, the status it may uh, it may sometimes press the keys that are acceptable sometimes uh, there is a possibility like sometime it it may be uh, maybe or may not uh, see maybe it's going to press some keys which are acceptable by the application which are accepted by the software now this is the general idea behind the gorilla testing next uh, this type of testing brings out the defect and wrong input given so uh, the main purpose of a gorilla testing or random testing or chimpanzee testing uh, is to uh, bring out the defects bring out uh, see we are testing our application how it is going to respond for uh, unacceptable inputs how it is going to re- respond for unacceptable uh, inputs now this type of testing uh, brings out the defect when wrong inputs are given okay uh, randomly pressing some keys uh, key means uh, randomly we are giving some inputs okay uh, so software should misbehave uh, when the wrong inputs are given uh see yes software should not misbehave means uh, it should be uh, at uh, some uh, some stage means stable stage the software should be at the stable stage when you uh, even though you are giving a wrong input so even though you are giving a wrong input or a random input your software should not misbehave or should not corrupt okay that is the uh, see we are uh, checking in the gorilla testing next uh, that this testing is used to check whether the defensive program has done or not now defensive program defensive uh, means here the defensive program is uh, self defensive uh, the uh, self defensive uh, characteristic of a prog- uh, application self defensive characteristic of a application now this testing is used to check whether the defensive program means it should not defensive program means it should safer side uh, the application should be safer side even though you are giving us some uh, random inputs or unacceptable inputs the application should be at the safer side so this is what the defensive program means as then or not we are checking here the uh, whether the defensive program has been done or not the software is made to tolerate a wrong input 
so here the uh, the main uh, the general idea so oral conclusion we can say uh, the behind the gorilla testing is uh, uh, we are checking the defensive program whether the defensive program has been, has been done by the uh, developer or not means defensive coding has been done or not uh, so and the one more thing is uh, the software is made to tolerate wrong inputs it should soft uh, your application should tolerate some uh, wrong inputs also now that if the wrong inputs given the necessary error message has to be displayed so obvious that uh, if there is a wrong input the uh, by error message should be displayed error message must and should be displayed if the system hangs it's a major defect if it is uh, showing the some error messages uh, no problem i want uh, if uh, after uh, displaying the error messages uh, your system is working properly then there is no problem uh, if a system hangs it's a major defect if error is not displayed if a system uh, hangs at the random input if this, if your system hangs or if your uh, system corrupted or if your application corrupted then it's a major defect or not corrupted means uh, if it is uh, not responding in a proper way uh, then uh, means uh, indirectly if if a system hangs it is a major defect if error is uh, not displayed now this error handling routine need to be improved means uh, so uh, if it is giving some error error messages not displayed error messages are not displayed and your system hangs so this uh, error handling routine need to be improved okay this is the main important thing here so here uh, overall uh, the gorilla testing overall gorilla testing uh, just remember it is also called a monkey testing or a, a random testing randomly we are giving some inputs and uh, whether the whether we are checking whether the defensive program is done or not or we are checking uh, uh, the uh, that your application is going to tolerate some wrong inputs Uh, and uh, whether the system is going to hang or not, or whether it is working properly, even after giving the random input. This is the main idea behind the gorilla testing. Okay. And next topic. Uh, this is all about the gorilla testing. I uh, will see the next uh, testing, uh, next type of testing that is alpha testing. Now here in the alpha testing. uh when the software reach in the major stage of development major stage means uh, partially completed means uh, we can say that our uh, application is uh, completed and the highly beneficial to get the feedback from the end user now uh, once your application is uh, ready to deliver or major product we can say that the major product or the here the major product means the partial completed not fully the partially completed and uh, now uh, for example your application your software is partially completed now you should take So some feedback from the end user you should uh, take some feedback from end user and this, this is highly beneficial when uh, why it is highly beneficial means um, see uh, is there any some modification required as per the, we compare with the requirement specification and the, our actual functionality of application now here uh, we take some feedback from the end user uh, the software on the functionality and gui means uh, we are taking just uh, functionality and gui means if your uh, application is uh, uh, almost completed and we need to take some feedback from the end users okay uh, for the functionality and gui now the end users uh, develop a software in the presence of a develop me, uh, development team so end users uh, develop a software I means here you now the end user end users uh, sit uh, the end users uh, can test uh, can test I means uh, end users can uh, Now here the end user the end user tests the software in the presence of a development team now uh, we obviously uh, see this is alpha testing is uh, the end user the end users are going to so here the uh, ben, uh, feed, uh, taking a feedback from or getting a feedback from user is nothing but the end user is going to test your application end user is going to test your application in the presence of a development team end users are going to test your uh, software in the presence of a development team now here uh, what is the use the what is the use of uh, uh, see the testing uh, we are giving our application to test and test by the end users and the presence of development team is user can be guided how to use the software uh, and the developer can rectify the, some major problems encountered during the usage of the software mm -hmm. here the basic uh, see uh, the main intention or the uh, basic idea behind the uh, end user uh, testing or application by the end user is uh, see uh, the end user uh, as a developer we can uh, we we uh, we guide uh, our uh, we guide the client or user to how to use this application so and one more thing is uh, if a uh, user is giving some uh, some errors means uh, users are giving some uh, suggestion for whether if there is any errors 
so you can we can rectify those errors or uh, some major problems encountered during the testing stage or uh, usage now this is the uh, main uh, uh, use of the alpha testing means we are giving your application to the end user for a testing and uh, in the presence of development team so that we we uh, we can rectify some uh, uh, defects encountered in the uh, while testing or while using our application so now one more thing is we can guide we can guide our users how to use the, uh, this particular application now this type of testing is called as an alpha testing okay uh the user testing uh, our application in the presence of a development team okay this type of uh, testing is called as alpha testing alpha testing is end user testing our application okay next alpha testing can go to by the users in the presence of a development team as uh, i mentioned in the second topic a uh, second sorry a uh, second point uh, the presence of a development user guided how to use the software develop, uh, how to use software and Uh, developers can rectify any major problems okay uh, so this is all about the alpha testing it's a very uh, smallest topic so no need to uh, so no explanation is that uh, so this much is enough so what is alpha testing just remember what is the alpha testing okay uh, the end user test our application in the presence of development team what is the benefit here a user can be guided next is a uh, developer can rectify some major problems so okay, coming to the next point that is the beta testing uh, the one more topic uh, that is the beta testing or uh, here the beta testing testing ca uh, carried out the end uh, see end user premises it's uh, at the client side we carry out the beta testing at the client side client side and uh, absence of a development team so uh, see here the, the basically uh, this testing this type of a testing that is a beta testing should be carried out at the user premise or the client environment uh, absence of a development team uh, so in case of alpha testing in the presence of a development team we carry out the alpha testing but in in case of a beta testing uh, in the absence of a development team we carry out the uh, our uh, testing process of the application in the, uh, on the uh, in the client uh, user environment or user premises now this bring out some problems associated with the usability as well as the performance so here we are checking with the the problems the problems in usability and performance what are the possible uh, problems encountered during usability of a, that particular application okay and the, what are the performance issues okay now these uh, two main important points are your uh, uh, usability problems next is a performance usability performance uh, uh, criteria like sorry uh, not criteria uh, some issues some issues related with the uh, usability and the performance is going to be considered uh, uh, during uh, beta testing now the beta testing is carried out at the user premises in the absence of development team now here the during the test plan formulation uh, some aspects need to be decided during a test plan formulation uh, we need to we need to consider some aspects the first is the number of uh, beta test sites the number of beta set sites uh, the mean, uh, that means uh, here the beta test site means um, uh, location we can consider it as a location generally uh, the number of uh, the number depends see the number of beta test site means the how many numbers see uh, the number depends on the type of product the type of product depending on the product type or depending on the product domain Okay, we are going to consider uh, the number. We are going to uh, uh, find out the numbers. How many times means uh, the number of beta set size should be uh, considered. Okay, or selected. Okay, for a generic product released uh, to the market on a very large number of uh, test uh, test sites are required, uh, and uh, to test the software under different environment. Uh, if there is a uh, see uh, if your product if your product is re uh, released to the market on very large scale number. A large scale um, uh, or a large number of test sites are required. Means, uh, for example, some e-commerce websites. So, like Amazon, we'll take an uh, example of Amazon or uh, Flipkart. Some e-commerce applications we are releasing in the we are releasing, uh, releasing to the market on very large scale. Means, uh, in that case, uh, the number of sites increases. In that case, the number of sites, uh, the number of test sites are increased. and the so uh, so uh, different environments also increase because we are going to test on different environment and the number of test sites are different number of uh, test sites okay that is what the number of uh, beta test sites is considered uh, so these are uh, this is one of the aspect uh, we are going to consider during a beta testing the next is environment required for a beta testing 
then the second point uh, environment required for the beta testing now here the uh, environment required so the exact hardware and software configuration required need to be specified so environment here is the platform platform uh, indirectly it's a platform so what is the platform i mean so environment environment required for the beta testing so exact hardware and software configuration for example in case of uh, uh, we'll take an example of a network uh, uh, if your application not developed for a network based okay so in this uh, in that case the hardware and software configuration required to be specified so it should be mentioned like uh, what type of hardware are required what are the hardware components are necessary for uh, uh, that are to test uh, uh, in this particular application what is the software configuration required so these all should be considered or this uh, this all should be specified okay uh, while uh, testing the environment required for the beta testing while uh, while choosing the environment okay next is support service to be provided here uh, and, uh, see what happens support service means if a user encounters a problem they need to be provided with the helpline means we should provide some support we should uh, obvious that we are developing application we are um, uh, we are releasing uh, we are uh, providing that application means we should uh, it's necessary and it's compulsory to uh, that uh, we need to provide some helpline okay helpline means some uh, support okay or if a user encounters any problems we need to help them or we need to provide some uh, help helpline now whether beta test uh, software is priced or free now we are going to checking one more aspect that is uh, that is a beta testing is software is a priced or free uh, if done reasonably mature product it can be priced means if done on a reasonably mature product mature product means uh, partially completed product it can be free uh, it can be priced means uh, lower the price than the end product okay see if a uh, beta testing is carried out at the user premises we are going to charge in the middle of the, if the if the user is trying to test our application if a user is demanding for our uh, demanding to test our application in the, in the middle of uh, testing process or uh, for example in the middle of any development phase so we are going to charge it means uh, the major product it can be priced okay in the lower price than the end product the uh, major product means the partially completed we are going to pr uh, price some um, uh, amount otherwise uh, the lower the price means if if we are uh, if we uh, our application is com uh, fully completed i uh, mean uh, the price is lower or uh, we are not going to uh, demand for uh, money okay next is a defect reporting mechanism the one more aspect is a defect reporting mechanism see in that case uh, defect reporting is nothing but a report of a defect if a user finds a defect uh, mechanism for reporting the defect need to be specified means what is the mechanism to record those defects the mechanism we are going to provide uh, to record those defect uh, encountered during the beta testing next is the beta testing period now what is the beta testing period period uh, here the, the testing period uh, has to be fixed depending on the complexity of the product means if there is a more complex um, uh, depending on the complexity of application means some critical application so depending on the those the type of applications we are going to uh, specify the testing period okay now uh, here uh, uh, test uh, some critical applications like uh, embedded or uh, some hospital uh, some medical uh, applications or uh, defense application these kind of applications like aviation these are some uh, critical applications so uh, these are very complex applications so depending on the type of uh, domain or a type of application we are going to uh, uh, we are going to decide the test period beta testing period okay uh, the next talk uh, this is all about the beta testing uh, next we'll see the uh, then one more uh, one more type of uh, testing that is a field trial or operational testing a field trial what is a field trial and operational testing so field trial means uh, at the uh, at the ground zero level or uh, uh, at the field i uh, mean user environment we are testing our application at the user environment now here in the field trial means uh, just operational uh, just remember the general term of operational testing means actual operation of application at the client side okay actual operation of the uh, application at the end user side or end user environment we are going to test that is what field trial or operational now here the some software product have to be tested in the real working environment 
that is what i said the real working environment before releasing a client operational use now uh, see a real working environment means um, we carry out some testing like um, for example uh, the uh, space applications or the space uh, software we are going to test uh, before we are going to uh, release or before we are going to launch the any space application uh, space applications or uh, some uh, embedded applications uh, so we are going to check the uh, real working environment because these are some critical uh, some critical applications uh, that is the necessity to uh, Uh, test uh, the uh, field operational field operational or uh, field uh, operational testing is uh, required now in here the field of uh, trial uh, similar to a beta testing normally conducted on customized software now here the field trial is uh, nothing but the so as i said the field trial means um, is a real working environment real working environment means at the end, end user side end user environment so indirectly it's uh, similar to a beta testing only now normally conducted on customized software customize the software so this uh, see uh, this beta testing or operational testing usually conduct on customized software customized software uh, the customized means uh, we can customize uh, uh, those functionality the, the functionalities of application now before conducting a field trial test team has to make a detailed report on the requirements of the end field so what are the requirements what is the hardware requirement what is the software requirement if there is any uh, uh, see uh, the or the requirement means every requirement which are necessary to test that particular application at the client side at the field or at the operational site so we are going to uh, we are going to uh, make a detailed report so it is necessary to make a detailed report of a uh, this one uh, that is uh, um, hardware and software requirement for a uh, field of a field or operational testing field trial or operational test so uh, the <coughs> the detailed report should be prepared next is the project team has to prepare hardware and software requirements for the conducting field trial so uh, hardware and software requirement as i said the project team has to prepare hardware and software requirement for conducting field trial next is the field trial report need to be given field trial report need to be given has to be filled after the field trial so we uh, see uh, we are conducting a field trial means see everything should be recorded okay everything should be recorded and uh, the report has to be generated after uh, it has to be filled after the field trial means it has to be filled after the field trial next um, there is uh, uh, there is one more uh, um, see uh, here they mentioned a uh, example of the messaging service the messaging service using uh, satellite so this is the example uh, they mentioned uh, we are developing any application for uh, messaging uh, service application or using uh, some satellite to uh, Uh, using satellite so here uh, so this is the what here is the this is the example given for the if you are developing any uh, messaging service a uh, messaging service application using a uh, satellite so these are some remote hosts and uh, this is the hub means a centralized uh, centralized hub and uh, this receives a um, uh, data from the and uh, this is a centralized hub communicating both at the remote location and the some satellite so this is a transceiver that is the uh, hub is acting as a transceiver for uh, uh, the uh, the the remote sites and the remote locations and uh, the satellite now this is uh, so we are going to check that uh, software uh, see sometime it has to be tested in the lab also uh, simulating like uh, we are uh, so obviously uh, it is not uh, in the field trial satellite is not available so just we are simulating uh, simulating some satellite network and uh, we test like uh, how uh, like to conduct the field trial by installing some software like a set, uh, satellite network and uh, and uh, testing with a group of uh, uh, selected users or a group of users how we are going to, how this application is going to react or respond for uh, how many users so these all uh, uh, we are going to consider in the field trial okay so this is the example given for um, the field trial uh, that is a satellite messaging service okay next uh, then one more thing uh, see uh, we prepare a log defect we prepare a log defect means uh, before conducting the field trial the test team uh, uh, makes a detailed report on the requirement at the field site okay as i said the, uh, before conducting the field trial the test team has to make a detailed report what are the requirement what are the requirements uh, uh, required what are the requirements necessary uh, for 
to carry out the field trial or operational testing so the so next is uh, there is a format there is a format you now for uh, uh, see we are going to record some the log uh, defects so we are maintaining the defect uh, field trial uh, uh, defect record or uh, log defect or log defect or we can say the log sheet see uh, here the log sheet gives all the problems there is a format okay there is a format for uh, log defect uh, log, log uh, defect log sheets or uh, some uh, defect uh, records now here the log sheet gives all the problems any kind during the field trial has to be maintained with the details so uh, there is a format how should it should be maintained so the first is the date of uh, log see uh, the date of field trial now what is the precondition here is the precondition is input so entry criteria precondition is nothing but entry criteria next what is the description of a problem what is the description what is the post condition a precondition post condition entry criteria precondition means entry criteria post condition means exit criteria now description is what is the output here what is output then the next is how it is going to impact the application how it is impacting our application whenever uh, any uh, defect is encountered how it is going to impact the application okay this is all about the field trial and operational operational testing okay field trial operational testing okay uh, so this is all about the field trial and operational testing we'll see in the next topic uh, we'll study the performance load uh, testing and load testing this uh, okay uh, thank you this is all about the field trial and testing uh, so today we discussed uh, the gorilla testing this video we discussed the gorilla testing uh, next one is alpha testing and one more is beta testing and field trial or operational testing okay thank you